All right, so here we have the tape in place with the center of the tape ironed on, but we haven't taken any action on the edges yet. So the, the exact center of the tape has been ironed on, but the tape edges are just like they mechanically got to be without any action taken on them yet. So see how the tape goes close to the future surface just by itself from being pulled and stretched. And so we haven't done any heat gunning yet, we haven't done nothing yet here. And so it, if it's put on correctly to this point it will be very easy to make the edges of the tape conform to the surface because just by being put on correctly it will fold over. You see how, how it's going towards the surface in these wrinkles all over the place just by itself from being stretched on and put on correctly and so we will slowly iron the center and then we will heat gun these wrinkles and then we will massage the tape on with a felt blade like this and it will go on beautifully just by working from the center to the edge and you see the wrinkles are small and the wrinkles are even and so they will be heat gunned out easy just by stretching it in place correctly and the big trick is have it vertical, clamp it to the table and work with the Super Cup tail feather vertical to put the tape on. At what temperature? Yeah, uh, in, in this case it is important to put the tape on to begin with at a temperature that's high enough to overwhelm the heat sink of the steel tube. So 120 Celsius is the minimum for that. So use 120 Celsius on the initial ironing of the tape and then in the center of the tape you can go up to 135 but never go close to the edge with the iron otherwise the tape edge will curl up. So we'll be, we'll be heat gunning this at like 320 Fahrenheit with the heat gun to put these edges down and heat gun out those wrinkles but the ironing is like 120 Celsius to 135 Celsius just in the center of the tape. So, because if you heat gun it too hot or if you iron it too hot, the edges will curl up and that doesn't do any good for anybody. So the temperatures have to be used as instructed with the tools we got. You can dial in the temperatures precisely, correctly easily. So more on this later. <laughs>